Well, keeping our kids busy and entertained and even having some fun, right? As parents, we all have good intentions, but let's be honest, after a while, you begin to run out of ideas. Here to help fill up our buckets again is Amanda Hollyfield with Macaroni Kid Tri-Cities and her daughter, Grace. Great to see you guys. Great to see you through uh, Skype today. Exactly, yes. We are back again through Skype, and we are so grateful for you, Amanda, because you have so many great ideas through your newsletter, and I know every day you're kind of updating those, and you're working, and you're a mom, and you've got lots of projects. But kind of keep us up to speed here about how you guys are doing. We're, we're doing well. Not a lot has changed for us as a family since last week, um, even with the safe order, you know, to be home. Uh, me working with Parks and Recreation, um, the parks were still open, a lot of the parks and the, the trails. So we, I am reporting uh, to duty and doing that, but we're, we're doing really well. I mean, we're, it's it, every day, it's, it's an adjustment. And the weather plays a factor in that as well. So we're we're making a schedule. We're adjusting. We're trying to have fun and stay calm and just be grateful. Um, that's the big thing right now. I know I talked about last week in the newsletter. Just be grateful um, that we're we're together as a family and I'm able to go to work still. But we are doing well. Good, good. And you mentioned just kind of keeping that right state of mind. Be grateful, be intentional about the time that you do have to go together as a family. And now at least we have a new month, so it's the month of April, and there's new opportunities for entertainment, right? There is, there is. I was talking, I was thinking about the, um, the other day when I did my newsletter, this time last year, I mean, it was community egg hunts everywhere. Yes. You know, if you remember that with Macaroni Kid, the event calendar was full. This year, we're going to have to be a little bit creative. And so you mentioned a new month. So in this week's newsletter, we did our monthly uh, fun days calendar. And actually, this is Grace's baby. She really loves doing this and she researches all the wacky national fun days and that's in this week's newsletter and i saw one of them is unicorn day i bet that was your idea there grace <laughs> oh yeah you love the unicorn day didn't you yeah. yeah we're thinking about being creative on that day and maybe having a unicorn party here at the house Love and it. just finding some Pinterest pins and make, just having fun with it, using sprinkles and all sorts of fun stuff for that day. And I understand we have Grace here because your son is actually doing some online courses with Olson's. He is. So he takes classes with Olson's Martial Arts here in Johnson City, and they have been wonderful in transitioning to some online virtual classes. So they keep us updated. The time stays the same um, given the day. So he actually has an 11 o'clock class. Um, so we're, we're filming this. But yeah, he's doing his class right now um, for today. So that's been great for him just to have some structure and some physical activity. Mm -hmm. And it's great for me just to hook up the phone and they lead him the entire hour. And I know you guys also doing a lot of online learning and classes and you kind of have the kids set up in their space for when those happen as well. Yes, Grace has been wonderful in helping Jackson. You know, sometimes it's hard. I don't know how everybody else is, parents out there trying to teach your kids. My kids learn better if it's somebody else. Thank goodness for people like Olson's and our teachers. They learn so much better from other people than mm -hmm. me and Brooks. So Grace has been huge. You've seen the picture there. She's helping Jackson. We're doing multiplication tables with him. So sometimes they're on the couch. Sometimes they're here at the table. Whatever works for them, the environment that is more conducive for them to learn. And I think we can all agree, everything is trial and error. You know, every day we try a different way and see how that goes. And we may keep some of those and add in a few new. And eventually, we will all find that combination. Right, Amanda? Absolutely. You know, just because it didn't work doesn't mean it's not, it's a failure. Your kids are, you know, Grace learns differently than Jackson. And so, you know, you got to try what works, and when you find something that works and the kids love, then stick to it. Um, that's the most important thing. And you mentioned weather, and I know that's one of the big things for you guys is getting outside and doing some different activities. And you even are looking at spring as an opportunity to, to do some yard work, to plant some things. Really, really helps the state of mind. 
Absolutely. Honestly, our schedule is really built around the weather. I'm not, you know, that I get on the weather channel. I'm looking at WJHL news for the day, for the weather. And if it's going to be rainy all day, then we got to get creative on what we're going to do inside. So Tuesday, you all had, Tuesday was pajama day. I try to give the kids one pajama day where they're not going to have to get up and get dressed because it rained all day. Now, like today and, the, and going into the weekend, it's supposed to be beautiful. So I'm like, get your homework done first so you can get outside. You want to show them one of the things that you've done? So we did this last week. Ooh. So this is, an actually, this is actually a Kool-Aid lemonade container, the plastic container. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, and Grace painted it with just some, like, normal acrylic paint. I also have, there's so much stuff around your house, guys. You do not have to go out and buy this stuff. I had spray paint downstairs from, I guess, a, a project before. So we actually spray painted some of the containers. But you just want to save, like, this is a water bottle that I've cut. They can paint for later. Here's a, a ice cream. Yeah. plastic container and you just got to drill some holes in it but um we planted which one is this one you got rosemary so we planted some herbs to hopefully do some homemade pizzas so we have oregano basil and rosemary and we thought that might be fun to do homemade pizzas one night very fun. I love it. You guys are so inspirational. Love the different projects that you do. Love the newsletter. And thank you, Amanda, for always keeping us full of ideas. I say our buckets were almost empty, so we needed to call you and, and fill them up again. Absolutely. Glad to help. Just make sure you check out our social media and the TriCities.Macaroni Kit. We have tons of ideas, new ideas this week. All right. Thank you so much. And thanks, Grace, for being a great big sister and helping brother out there with his homework. <laughs> Good stuff. You guys take care. Don't forget you for too. more information, Bye -bye. you can always check out their website and sign up for that newsletter. It's free and it's full of great information. We'll be right back.